So in this video, we're going to talk about um, selection sort using the Java programming language. Um, selection sort is uh, one of the easier sorts to learn, um, and it's uh, pretty easy to implement. Um, so uh, let's let's take a look at it. So um, if you have a very simple array like this, the way selection sort works is you actually examine the array and find the lowest. You basically run a find the lowest algorithm, which is uh, not too difficult, and then you uh, swap it. Um, so first time through, we can see that one um, should go here, and then your that four that was in the first spot would actually go there. You do a, a swap like that, right? Um, and then you, you don't look at that spot anymore. You're done looking at that one. Now you're going to look at the rest of the array, find the lowest, which um, and you're kind of comparing it to the first one because that's the one you're going to swap. And uh, obviously it's the two there, so the two and the nine would um, switch, right? And now you're, you're done with those first two, so you're going to look at these, and it just keeps on going until um, you, know, uh, you have it in order, which this would go three, nine, and then would go four, nine. And now you have your array sorted from lowest to greatest. Um, so that's how it works. You, you run a find the lowest, you um, look at the arrested array and swap spots and then move on one more. Um, and so I'm going to show you an example using strings. And when you're using strings, you're going to need to use the compare to method. And the way compare to method works is you have one string and you dot connect it to the compare to um, method and put another string in the parameters. And uh, if the it will return negative if this string is less than the other string that we have in here, um, lex lexicologically, which is, you know, for all intents and purposes, what we're doing alphabetically, right? So if it comes before it in the alphabet, um, then it's going to return a negative number. If they're exactly the same, then it's going to be zero. Um, if it's greater than or comes after, um, you're going to get a positive number, right? Um, so remember, um, when you're doing this, you're going, to, you're going to have a for loop that's going to start the i equals zero. You're going to find the lowest. You're going to swap it with that first spot. Then you're going to look at like the next one. Starting at i equals one, you're going to go through and um, look at the rest of the array until you have a sorted array. Um, so let's go ahead and, and take a look at what that looks like um, programmatically here. So um, you're going to have a for loop that's going to go through your whole array. Um, I have this array that um, I'll show you later on, but basically uh, it's a an array of NBA player names, uh, those who have won Player of the Week since 1985 to 2018, um, and this uh, splits it, and so this names array holds all those, uh, but they're out of order. They're actually sorted by date, um, and I want to sort it by name. We're going to... It's, it's only going to sort it by first name because that's what we have to work off of, but that's fine. Um, so anyway, so we're going to go through the whole array, starting at zero, and we're going to say, all right, we have spot is going to be equal to zero to start out with. Um, low, because we're finding the lowest. We're going to say, hey, our low value is equal to the whatever the first the spot that we happen to be looking at, right? So in, in the first time through, that's going to be spot zero. Um, then we need to run another for loop that's going to look at the rest of the array and kind of comparing it to that spot zero, right? And so we're going to start at i plus one. So we're going to start at one. So it just starts at zero, right? And now we're going to look at the rest. And every time we, um, so the first time we find a value, um, in the, the uh, J um, array here, the for loop here that starts at J and is going through, um, that is lower than our low value, then we need to save that and remember that. So we're going to say spots equal to J because that's where in that array that low spot occurs. And then we actually save the value. Um, and then we uh, just continue to go and compare it until we once we've um, gone through this whole inner for loop, we will have looked at the rest of the array, and these this should have saved whatever the lowest value is in the array. And so now um, we're done out of done with that inner for loop. Um, then the last thing that we need to do is um, swap those positions. And so um, we're going to say, you know, uh, 
the uh, array uh, names array spot, um, which is you know the, the spot that had the lowest value, is now going to be equal to um, i, uh, whatever the uh, you know for the first time through it would be spot zero, right? And then names array i um, is now equal to the low value. Um, so that's um, kind of like I had shown you what we did in here, right? Um, and that's it. So it's really not that hard. So and then you just keep on going through. So then we, you know, i is equal to 1. We're going to go and we don't need to look at spot 0 anymore. That now has the lowest value. And so we're going to look at the rest of the array. And so basically every time through, um, for each spot in the array, you're going to look at the rest of the array and find the lowest and swap it put it in that um, I spot. All right. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And just so you can see, I have this for loop here that prints out the names and then we um, will run the selection sort and then we'll uh, print it out again so we can kind of see what that looks like. And I'm just going to put this in here so you see it as well. Um, and here, let me just show you real quick when we run that. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about this, but uh, so here's the um, array as it is um, in its initial state. And then here it is sorted. So um, yeah, you got the, the first names I said is what we're sorting by. So you should have a lot of A's here and we do. Um, perfect. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.